And the Amy Coney Barrett hearing is a great example of how it really must not take much to be elected senator in the United States. She's outsmarting them, outclassing them. Can, can you imagine asking the mother of two black children if you're willing to condemn white supremacy? Spartacus himself was in his full-fledged glory yesterday. Cory Booker, this histrionic, melodramatic, failed presidential candidate, failed le- leader in New Jersey. Um, I, I, this was stunning yesterday. Um, you've already spoken towards issues of racism and how you deplore it. But I, I want to just ask you very simply, and I, I imagine you'll give me a very short, resolute answer. Um, but you condemn white supremacy, correct? Yes. Thank you. I'm glad to see that you said that. I wish our president uh, would say that so resolutely and unequivocally as well. But we are at a time that Americans are literally fearful because their president cannot do that in the resolute manner in which you did. I'm I'm sorry that that question had to even be asked at this time. Oh, you're sorry it had? Well, you asked it, moron. I mean, I I hate name-calling, but that guy's so dumb. He's just a dumb guy. These are, and of course, you can't criticize anybody on the Democrat side to the extent that they come after us and call us Hitler and murderers and Trump's a killer. And that guy's dumber than 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 can be. You're asking a mother of two black children. She and her husband have seven kids. One of them has Down syndrome. Two of them are adopted from Haiti, living an, an incredibly happy. And by all accounts, beautiful life in South Bend, Indiana. And you're asking this, I mean, forget Maisie Hirono, that dingbat, asking Amy Coney Barrett, have you ever sexually assaulted anyone? She did. That, again, I don't like to name call. These are dumb people. And that's, you think the country should be in under the leadership of Maisie Hirono and Cory Booker? Dick Durbin, who's been in office for 100 years? And listen to Amy Coney Barrett's uh, response to the death of George Floyd. It was powerful. It was poignant. It was profound. It should give comfort to every black American who was traumatized by George Floyd's death. Guess what? Judge Barrett and her family, they were traumatized too. Have you seen the George Floyd video? I have. What impact did it have on you? Um, Senator, as you might imagine, given that I have two black children, that was very, very personal for my family. To reflect on the history of this country, where are we today when it comes to the issue of race? I think it is an entirely uncontroversial and obvious statement given, as we just talked about the George Floyd video, that racism persists in our country. As to putting my finger on the nature of the problem, you know, whether, as you say, it's just outright or systemic racism, or how to tackle the prop, the issue of making it better, those things, you know, are policy questions, they're hotly contested policy uh, questions that have been in the news and discussed all summer. I want to go back to this answer about George Floyd because she, she, her answer was so powerful and personal, and she talked about weeping with her children over George Floyd's death, like many Americans did. Uh, listen, if you're a conservative, you should be able to appreciate the pain the anguish, the fear that George Floyd's death caused. Stop fighting back and and, and this conspiracy theory and all this stuff about nine minutes that guy, a a cop, had his his knee on this man's neck and nobody did anything, and it it was a significant occurrence that people like Amy Coney Barrett, um felt enormous, enormously about with her children. As you might imagine, given that I have two black children, that was very, very personal for my family. 
Um, Jesse was with the boys on a camping trip out in South Dakota, so I was there, and my 17-year-old daughter, Vivian, who's adopted from Haiti, um, all of this was erupting. It was very difficult for her. Um, we wept together in my room, and then it was also difficult for my daughter, Juliet, who's 10. I had to try to explain some of this to them. I mean, my children to this point in their lives have had the benefit of growing up in a cocoon where they have not yet experienced hatred or violence. Um, and for Vivian, you know, to understand that there would be a risk to her brother or the son she might have one day of that kind of brutality has been an ongoing conversation. It's a difficult one for us, like it is for Americans all over the country. For many Americans, that was the mo one of the most powerful moments of uh, day two of the Amy Coney Barrett hearings. More coming up on the Mike Gallagher Show on this breaking news Wednesday. Stay with us.